little rascal's given me the slip again. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> he looks like Kuchu the Chamberlain. Prince Melchior! Prince Melchior! Oh, what a stick in the mud. Prince Melchior, we have to go back to the palace. Where are you? Your grandfather will be furious. <laughs> Prince Melchior! Help! Help! The sky is falling on me! Help! Tell me, Zanathi, how's it going? <gasps> Oh, Your Highness, Prince Melchior, it's a great honor for me. Ah, uh, sure, fine. What about my white camel? Alas, Your Splendor, he's not quite white yet, but I'll keep trying. Oh, but don't worry, I'll find a white camel. Just be patient, or oh, where'd he go? It's awful. I'm dying. Squashed by a pile of pumpkins. Oh, my hat. Where? Where's my turban? My poor head feels so cold. <gasps> What's that? Oh, how dare you, huh? miserable worm. Find my hat immediately or I'll have you flogged. Ah. <laughs> Oh dear, what a day! Have you found it finally? Oh, and now let us go to the palace. I have to tell the king that this little rascal Melchior has given me the slip once more. What will his majesty think of it? Melchior. I have told you a hundred times that you are too young to break in an animal as precious and as rare as a white camel. You have to earn that honor. <clears throat> Not only do you make a fool of this poor Kushu, but you also neglect his lessons. If you want to be worthy of the crown, all this will have to change. Your parents died far too young. Oh, your majesty, this is a tragedy. Who dares make all that noise? It's me, your unworthy Chamberlain. Oh, shining brightness. Kush, what is it? Oh, your altitude. Prince Melchior has disappeared, kidnapped by the genes. Kush, turn your turban to your left. To, 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 to the left, your majesty, of course. Peekaboo, Kushru. <laughs> oh, but, oh, but then it means uh, that, uh... You have been fooled again. I knew it, I knew it. Those jeans have made a fool of me in front of everyone. Huh? <laughs> Kushu has got a new turban. <laughs> huh? A new turban? But, but no. It's my own... <laughs> oh, 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 a snake! Help! <laughs> Prince Melchior. <laughs> It is time for you to study. Don't forget that Ahura Mazda, the Almighty, sees you. Yes, Grandfather. So go now. Yes, Grandfather. Hmm. A white camel. May happiness be heaped upon you, Prince Melchior. Hi there, Great Vizier. Hard little brat. White! I want a white camel! I told you! Calm down, Xanathy. That one is only slightly gray. Yes, but Prince Melchior wants a white one, you idiot! <laughs> Everything's the fault of that darn she camel. She did it to spite me. The father must have been pale gray. You're trying to ruin me. I'll teach you a lesson. Oh, Xanathy, be careful, dear brother! <laughs> If I bring a white camel to the prince, I'll be head camel driver of the king. With a title like that, my benefits will increase tenfold. <laughs> well, I know what I have to do. Where are you going? 
to the Black Mountain. Someone will help me over there. The Red Magician? You must have gone mad, Xenophy. You're going to sell your soul to the jeans. I drive a hard bargain, don't you trust me? If only I'd known I'd have ridden the mule. <laughs> I know what you want. I'm willing to teach you some of my science, but in exchange, I won't ask for gold only for six months of your life. Mm -hmm. Six, six Don't months? Don't try to argue. It's six months or nothing. Well, all right, it's a deal, your obscurity. Lesson number one. Mm -hmm. It wasn't such a good deal. At that time, Prince Melchior embarked on a long period of serious studies. He started to grow both in size and wisdom under the kind rule of the excellent Kushru. During that time, Sanafi ben Ali had more difficulties in becoming familiar with the basics of black magic. And while the progress of Prince Melchior was the pride and joy of his teacher, one has to admit that the continuous blunders of Zanafi would have shattered the nerves of the most impassive wizard. Two whole years for that? Now tell me what you think, my dear Kushu. Uh, well, you see your splendor. Uh, Prince Melchior has learned a lot and made great progress, and now my knowledge has almost run out. I had foreseen this, Kushu. Here is a list of other professors for the prince. Your Majesty has chosen great scientists, particularly these two wise men, Balthazar and Gaspar. Balthazar is still a young man, despite his great wisdom. He will be like an older brother for Melchior, while Gaspar is a warrior king, a giant from the north, who will help complete the education of the young prince later, when Melchior is ready to replace me on the throne. Ahura Mazda, tonight I have come to thank you for giving me the will to study during these two years, and for letting me hope that I may one day have my white camel. Enough! I've had enough of you! Get out of my sight! Our contract is broken! You are too stupid to benefit from my knowledge! <laughs> My dearest brother. Still no white camel in sight? Uh, no. Well, then I'll have to make one. We are here to welcome great scientists whose wisdom will enrich the mind of the heir of our kingdom, Prince Melchior. Mm -hmm. Their Excellencies, the professors of His Highness Prince Melchior. His Excellency, the Master of Philosophy. <laughs> Their Excellency, the Master of Mathematics. The Master of Greek. The Master of Physics and Chemistry. The Master of History and Geography. The Master of... Yazimir, bring me a camel. A camel? You want a nice camel? That's too expensive, you must be joking. No, take the ugliest with bent legs, warts, and everything. Bent legs and warts? Oh. 
Um, um, is there a problem, Your Majesty? Kushro. <clears throat> yes, Your Great Radiance. Have they all arrived? Huh? <clears throat> I'm... to welcome you, wise Balthazar. The whole of my palace is at your disposal. It will not be necessary, dear friend. Here is my entire entourage. Ali and Naila, our brother and sister. They are the most faithful of servants. Naila. Please introduce me to my new pupil. You're back, Samir. Here you are. It's the worst quality. I was going to mark him down. Tie him over there and let me get to work. Go on, get out. I'll call you when the time comes. As you wish, then, Amir. So, my pretty one, with my science and your useless hulk, we are both going to become rich and famous. <laughs> yes, rich and famous. You see, Melchior, all these documents, these tablets and these papyruses are very ancient. They come from different and faraway kingdoms. Yet they all speak of the same prophecy. They describe the appearance of a new star that will announce the birth of a great king. But when will it happen? Where will it be? No one knows. But your glass is empty. Huh? Oh, yes, sorry. Thank you, Laila. I also have a dream. For many years I have prayed Ahura Mazda would give me a camel that was entirely white. But despite all that, a herd of old nags arrived at the palace today. <laughs> The way is clear, Ali. Go ahead. Once you are through the gate, take the road on your right. It will take you to the valley where your journey really starts. Thank you, Chula. See you in one moon. Thank you for your help, Chula, and your discretion. Because I ask both of you, you and Laila, to keep quiet about the true goal of Ali's secret mission. my pretty one. Mm. Go on, drink up my little camel. Swallow it. He's not swallowing. Swallow it! <laughs> but it will do you good, idiot. Here, drink up! Look, it's a miracle. matter of dosage, perhaps. But it's nothing serious. It's a very promising start. Really? The following day started a three-week period during which Prince Melchior divided his time between his knowledgeable professors and his new friend, the Magi Balthazar, served faithfully by the sweet Laila. Meanwhile, Zanafi stayed in his makeshift laboratory, trying to find a magic formula that would produce a white camel and an opening to the royal court. You see, Melchior, my travels have taught me as much as all those tablets and papyruses. Talking of travels, when will Ali come back? Very soon, I think. Very soon. Hmm. Let's see. The constellations are in place. It should be there. But who? It's me, my lord. Ali, what news do you bring? He has arrived. Marvelous. Then take me to him. He 
He's magnificent. But I've never seen such a bad temper. The dealer found it in the desert, hidden by the body of its mother. In his opinion, she had been killed by the jinns. You are back just in time, because you know in only a week. It's his birthday. Let's see, is it this or that? Why is that? That way he is unique, priceless in a word, a gift fit for a king for the birthday of a prince. Bravo, Xenophy. It really is an excellent idea. Worth its weight in gold, your generosity. You get what's coming to you when the prince gets his gift. Thank you, your great kindness. Thank you. It will be the surprise of the whole ceremony, your incredible kindness. You're right. My dear Kush, I have decided to put you in charge of the festivities. Oh, you can trust me, your apotheosis. What is it, Melchior? You seem preoccupied. Tomorrow is my birthday, but unfortunately it's also an official ceremony, and it's so boring. <laughs> My lord, I want to thank you for those magnificent presents. It is now my turn to give our dear Prince Melchior a companion he set his heart on a long time ago. Hello, everybody. I'm the camel driver of the king. A white camel. Hmm? Come along, Harry. Who's a pretty camel, my baby? Incredible. The dealer would have known about it. Your Majesty. I am justly punished for having acted without your knowledge. What do you mean? Chula? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. We had the same idea to surprise Prince Melchior. From the best dealer in camels between the Tigris and Euphrates. And yours? From my own stables where it was bred in secret for our prince. Those blue feet are very strange. It's much better to be clean and to have nice blue feet than to be of a very dubious white and to smell bad, as the saying goes. That horrid creature smells awful. Oh, 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 oh,